Palito. I'm Gary Batten, Chief of the Choctaw Nation. We are officially in phase three of our recovery plan. This means we're returning to full operations while maintaining public health precautions. Currently, we are below our health indicators of general med and ICU bed utilization. We will continue to monitor these health indicators and adjust operations as needed to protect the health of our tribal members, associates, and customers. Our first question this week is brought to us by Edna Hawkins. Her question is, I think I did my census. How do I find out for sure? If you're uncertain about whether or not you've completed your census, you can fill it out again by phone or going online. Even if you've already submitted it, the most recent one will be what counts. You can also resubmit your census responses by phone or online to correct mistakes or to make sure that Choctaw tribal members have marked Choctaw Nation in the race field. Marking Choctaw Nation in the race field is extremely important for data the federal government uses in federal funding formulas for tribal nations. Our next question is, How's the Choctaw Nation utilizing CARES Act funding and will you be distributing funds directly to Choctaw tribal members? The Choctaw Nation spending plan for CARES Act funding includes three major categories, response, recover, and restore. Under response, money is being used to purchase and plan for combating the pandemic. This includes medical and personal protective equipment, cleaning and disinfecting supplies, healthcare expenses, and payroll expenses for frontline employees. Recover is paying for costs associated with reopening Choctaw Nation facilities for members, employees, and guests. This money includes paying for COVID-19, communications and training, physical barriers to protect employees and visitors, IT systems, infrastructure, and equipment. Restore funds will be used to assist tribal members and communities who have been hit with hardships due to the public health emergency. Targeted programs will expand funding for emergency financial assistance to tribal members directly impacted by loss of income due to COVID-19. In terms of distributing funds to individual tribal members, the federal guidance and our legal team agreed that per capita payments violates the CARES Act regulation. Tribal members who have been negatively impacted by COVID-19 will be able to receive CARES funding through programs like emergency services, housing, and food assistance, just to name a few. Our next question is, if there is COVID-19 exposure in the Choctaw Nation workplace, do you have a plan for communicating that information with impacted associates? Yes, our Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma Human Resources Department and Hill System have a plan that includes tracing to determine if other associates may have had close contact with the original associate. Associates who were potentially exposed will be notified to determine appropriate next steps. Keep in mind, close contact is defined by the CDC as being within six feet for longer than 15 minutes. That's why we want everyone to be focused on social distancing, whether at work or while taking part in activities outside of the workplace. Thank you once again for watching and submitting your questions. I hope you'll continue to watch for regular updates regarding what's going on at the Choctaw Nation in the coming weeks. And as always, Yako Key and God bless.